Hey everyone, welcome back to my kitchen. My name is Mindy Banks. I'm the Flip Flop Chef. Today I want to show you how to make one of my family's favorite desserts. It's super quick and easy. It's called Chess Cake. Um, one of my customers uh, gave me her recipe years ago and I have made it hundreds of times probably since then. Um, I appreciate you guys tuning in today. Please like and share my videos. Let me know if you're watching live or the replay and where you're watching from. Um, and please um, join my recipe group. You'll be able to find this recipe and thousands more at theflipflopchef.com. So let's go ahead and get started. So chess cake is kind of like um, ooey gooey butter cake if you guys follow Paula Dean. It's basically the same thing, but um, the recipe that was given to me was called chess cake and I've just called it that ever since. So I've got everything prepped out. We're gonna put this together really quickly and then it'll bake at about 350 for 40 to 45 minutes until the top is nice and golden brown. So that part you're not gonna see, but I do have finished product, finished uh, pictures of the finished product in my recipe group where I've shared before and I'll be sure to share the recipe as well. So let's go ahead and get started. I've got my classic batter bowl here and in here I have one stick of butter that I've already melted. We're going to mix just a couple of things with this. We're going to take a white cake mix. You can use any brand. If you guys know me well, you know I buy most of my groceries at Aldi and I love all their products. So one stick of melted butter, one package of white cake mix, and one egg okay just don't put this right on top of the melted butter you don't want it to scramble that egg and you want to kind of mix this quickly because the butter is hot get all of this combined nicely and then this is the crust and using a fork seems to be the best way and the fastest way to do this you could certainly use your um, beaters on your uh, Flex Plus, which I'm gonna show you in a second, but we're gonna use that on the cream cheese mixture that's gonna go right on the top. We're gonna to bake this in Pampered Chef's rectangular baker, and this is the gray stone. So we're just gonna scrape this right into the bowl or the, uh, the pan. And you can use your fingers or you can use the fork. Um, I think using your fingers is a lot faster way to do this. You're just going to press this mixture all the way to the edges. Try to get a nice even layer so that the crust is the same thickness all the way around. And then we're going to make our cream cheese mixture to go on the top and put this in the oven. So the baking and cooling is the hard part because you have to wait to eat it. I prefer it um, room temperature, but if you like it hot, you could certainly serve it hot. Okay, so let me clean my hands and set this aside. And we're gonna use our Flex Plus to mix the cream cheese mixture together. So we're gonna start with a brick of cream cheese and this has had time to soften. And this is one of our new mixing bowls. And I love this specifically for using the Flex Plus. Um, if you haven't seen the Flex Plus before today, you can check out some of my other videos, but we're gonna use the Flex Plus with the beaters attached to this. We do have whisk attachments that you could use instead, which would be fine for this as well. Um, we're gonna attach the handle. And if you don't know what this is, you can, um, I always put this in upside down. You can use the same handle and the same battery pack to operate our immersion blender and the food processor. So I'm gonna stick this on there and press the safety button that's underneath the battery right here. And then we're going to turn this on. And you can see how nicely you can whip this together. So I wanna get this nice and soft. Get a little bit more. I'm going to turn it down to low. Whoops, I turned it all the way up. Add our eggs. So three eggs in there. And then gently mix these back in. And you want to get a nice smooth mixture if possible. Sometimes you get clumps. As you add in the powdered sugar, you'll be able to get that out. Increase the speed. Nice and creamy. I'm going to set this 
down so you can see what I'm working with and I'm gonna scrape down the sides of the bowl. So you can see I'm getting a nice um, creamy mixture. I'm actually gonna use my small mixing scraper. I prefer the one that has kind of a spoon. Scrape the bottom, make sure you're getting all of that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now, if you don't have Pampered Chef's vanilla extract, it is a seasonal product. Um, you can use any pure vanilla extract. And I'm using a full teaspoon, even though this is double strength, you could use a half if you are using Pampered Chef's uh, vanilla. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit of our powdered sugar. I've got about close to four cups. If you buy this in a box, you can just use one box of powdered sugar. I buy it in the bags and um, just measure it out. All right, press the safety and get this going. Start low and then increase the speed. Oh, it's looking so good. I'm gonna pour more of this in. I love that this new bowl has a no-skid gripper. scrape down the sides and you would do the same thing if you were using a stand mixer you want to make sure you scrape down the sides so you get everything incorporated and then I'm going to give it another blend and then we'll put it on top and that's all we have to do you guys are going to love this So when you're done, go ahead and remove the battery pack. And I'm just gonna sort of tap these and then check this out. We have a button to release those. And then you can remove the handle from the blender, or excuse me, the mixer. And let me move a few things out of the way so you can see what we're gonna do next. I'm just gonna pour this mixture right on top of the crust. So if you've been watching from the beginning, we made the crust with a package of white cake mix, one egg, and a stick of butter. Check this out. Yum. This does not last long at my house. Everybody in my house loves chess cake. And if you're one of my close friends, I know you're drooling while you're watching this because you have had chess cake before as well. All right, just spread this to the edges like so. And then this is gonna go in, I don't like to waste any. Scrape that off, spread it out. Go in the oven, 350 for 40 to 45 minutes. And that's how you make chess cake. So I can't wait to hear from you if you decide to make this in your kitchen. You can use any flavor cake mix that you like for the crust and you can get really creative. Um, I've made it with chocolate and um, carrot cake. It's totally up to you, but my favorite and my family's favorite is the white cake mix with the traditional um, topping on the top. So have a great day. I can't wait to hear what you think.